Are you getting tingling down your arm? Maybe your doctor said it's a pinched nerve in the neck. It really almost never is. What it is is that you're probably working a lot with your arm in front of you, and that's causing this muscle right here to tighten and create that trigger point that goes down the arm. And oftentimes, I find it presents with people not able to sleep at night because the pain is so bad. Hi, Dr. Malka here, your chiropractor and acupuncturist practicing in Los Angeles, California. In this video, I'm going to show you how to utilize massage and stretches to release this tingling down the arm and also how to sleep with this arm tingling so you can get a nice restful sleep. The culprit we're dealing with is this muscle right here on your scapula. That's that shield of a bone where your rotator cuff muscles live. And I'm going to be using my Theracane. And basically, it's just digging right in here, right on top of that scapula. You may want to also do this lying down so you can be relaxed. The arm is completely relaxed, and you're pushing up going back and forth and massaging that infraspinatus. If you don't have a Theracane, you could use a tennis ball and a sock. You've seen me use that in several videos before. And so you can go back and forth with your body against the Theracane or just use the torque to lift it up and wait until you feel that tingling going down the arm and just hold it there for a while. Just a few minutes, take deep breaths and feel that muscle just relax. Sometimes people will go up into a doorway as well and just dig into that shoulder area, whatever works for you. Make sure after you're done massaging it that you put ice on it every hour for 20 minutes because you created a little inflammation, you wanna cool it down and ice is always a great way to do that. To stretch this muscle, bring the arm across the body like this. And you can hold this for a minute or two minutes and the most effective way, again, to stretch this is you're want, going to want to push against your arm. So you're not going to change the range of motion. You're just going to get into maximum stretch and then push against your hand for 10 seconds with 10% of your strength. Hold it there for a little bit. Relax it. Can you make it go a little further? You probably can. And again, push against the hand for 10 seconds with 10% of your strength, and repeat this three to five times. And another more effective stretch that's really pinpointed is to place the hands like this at the base of the spine, drop the body down, and then drop the elbows down. And that really stretches into this area. Now you can't do resistive stretches, which is what I really prefer, but this is actually really much more pinpointed on how to stretch this muscle. And again, hold this for you know, three to five minutes. Sleeping can be very problematic with this condition. So there's two ways I recommend you sleep with this arm pain. One is to lie and then put your arm right here. That might be a little challenging for some people to do all night long. The temptation is to bring the arm forward if you're a side sleeper. And when you bring the arm forward, what happens is this muscle gets a stretch. And that constant stretch of the muscle while you're sleeping will cause the muscle to cramp even more and wake you up in the middle of the night. So you can put the arm like this if you can manage to keep it here all night. Or better yet is to get a pillow thicker than this pillow. In fact, I would almost put this pillow in half. And then while you're lying on your side, you're going to rest your arm on this pillow. And that prevents that stretching that you're getting. Finally, if it's on the side of the arm that you tend to sleep on a lot, let's say you're a side sleeper and you can only sleep on the left side and that's the shoulder that's hurting, an option for you would be to put the pillow this way, bring your pillow here. You may want two pillows because I'm going to be elevating the body, which means the head could drop down. So you may want to use two pillows here. So this is the affected arm. It's really achy. It's really sore. Just go ahead and tuck it in here like this. Put your head down and then there's less pressure on this arm and you'll probably be able to sleep better through the night. And then always 
don't forget that if you ever have that pain and tingling in the middle of the night and you wake up and you just can't get comfortable, it's worth it to take that five or 10 minutes to massage the muscle, stretch it a little bit, and then even put ice on it for 20 minutes. It might calm it down enough for you to get back to sleep. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video and you had some benefits from it, go ahead and make sure to like, ring for future notifications, and subscribe.